First, the box. Any box will do. The sturdier, the better. It is best to stick with something standardized. Otherwise, its special anonymousness will suffer. Next, the observation window. Precise measurements will vary depending on the individual. You want to give yourself enough space to be able to see down to the ground, but still be as small as possible. Next, the vinyl window. This simple device is useful beyond all expectations. There should be a slit and the flap should overlap just slightly. When the box is vertical, it will serve as a screen, but when the box is tilted, an opening appears, allowing the box man to see out. For a box man, the slit in the vinyl is comparable to the expression of the eyes. With very slight adjustments, it is entirely possible to express yourself. This is not a look of kindness. The worst threatening glare is not so offensive as a slit. This is one of the few self-defenses of the box man. I should like to see the man capable of returning this look while maintaining composure. It was the sixth day since he had first crawled into the box. It was then that he thought. There was no makeup so suitable to a man as a box. Ultimately, he would become the contents that were right for the container. It was dark. There was the sweet smell of waterproof paint. The place seemed very homelike. For the first time, he casually masturbated in the box. And for the first time, he would sleep in the box that night. If Alex Alexander made any error, it was only that he was a little more aware of Boxman than others were. <laughs> 